Get ready to match the stars. Scoey Mitchell, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Patty Ducaston, Richard Dawson, and Patty Doyle as we play the star-studded big money match game 75. And now here's the star of match game 75, Gene Raymond. Thank you, Johnny Olsen and dear friend. You got a lively bunch here today, John? Right on. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that you're wearing? Oh, that's my um that's a, it's my jacket. It it looks looks like a heck of a time trying to get it off. Trump Loy. You know what that is? Does yeah. anybody know what Trump Loy is? No. Trump Loy? I like bet Fatty Flag knows. No. Chinese like food. Do no. I look like her in this? No, no Trump Loy is a French uh, phrase that means fool the eye or something ah, like that. Ah, you know? yes, it's a Trump Loy. Right, that's what it is. Right. Okay, now that we've got we'll that, that settled. I Trump Loy. Yes, sir, she's got a couple of Trump Loy's there. Though. Now, are you ready over there? As ready as a lady. Okay, would you like to say hello to our current champion, Mr. Hi, John Schlicker? Hello, John. Hello. How much money have you won? 3300 $3,300. Have you got plans for that loot? Every dime. You have every dime is earmarked so right. far? Pleasurable things, sensible things, wild things? Sensible, I guess. Sensible. All right, Could well, put me through graduate okay. school. Now, uh, as time expired last time, you had just won another game, and we're ready to have a go at the big money audience match. You ready for that? I sure am. Okay, we'll see how John Schlicker does with that in a moment or so. He's going to try for over $5,000 right after this message. For you. Don't ready? It. Here we are. John Schlicker is going to try for over $5,000. Now, wait till I get my microphone cable back here, John. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Ha! 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 Okay. We polled a recent studio audience, John, and we got their best response to this. Point of blank. And the answer that audience gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the next one, you get $250. If you match the bottom one, you get $100. Three of the dingalings are permitted to assist here. Whom do you call her? Patty Duke. Oh! Patty Duke. That quickly, huh? Well, 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 the first one I came up with was interest. Point of interest. Yes. And I know it's not it's that's dull, your best shot. but it's... No, you, you give it. us your best shot, right? That's all we ask. <laughs> well, it's my best shot without... All practice. right. Okay. Brett. John, is that my best shot? That's your best <clears> shot. <throat> I have... Would you believe I have three more and I can't... How about point of view? Point of view? Is a good one? Okay. And Richard. Point of no return. Point of no return. You got those three now. Point of interest, point of view, and point of no return. Do any of those... Step right down here, because it's a little dark back there, and I want them to see your I golden your tresses there. <laughs> I beg your pardon. No, I'm sorry. Not that we've got all no the light reflection. we've got on you, uh, Scoey, and that's why it's dark here. We had to turn all the lights on Scoey. Found that kind of yeah. funny, huh, folks? <laughs> We know where you shop and your kids go to school, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you thinking about those? We're giving a little time yes. to think here, John. Point of view, point of interest, point of no return. Point of no return. That's the one you want, point of no return. Okay, we'll find out if he's right or wrong. He, of course, hopes it's under the $500 response, but as usual, we'll begin down at the bottom and reveal the $100 number. Point of view is the one that Brett gave you. Point of no return is what he's looking for. Let's see if it's under the $250 response. Point of interest. Well, there are two out of three there. That may be a good omen, John. What do you think, audience? Is it up there? Yeah! All right, cool it. There it is. Congratulations. Good. Get the money. You know, this is a very unusual situation, Richard. Usually, the person who's called on third will give a weak response because the first two who are called on, you know, have their choice of it and give the best. And in that case, you were called on third and you gave point of no return, which turned out to be the answer. And I don't think it's ever happened that way before. Isn't this fascinating? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, listen, you're going to play for five, uh, 10 times $500 or $5,000. 
But to collect that, you got to match one of them head-to-head. -head. Which one will it be? I'll try Richard again. Okay, Richard, you get ready to write. John will face me, and here it is. It's worth $5,000. Blank Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Now think about it. Yeah, think about it now. And trust your first instinct. <laughs> okay, he's finished his answer. Now, John, <laughs> think hard. We ask you to come up with an answer which you think will match his. What do you put in that blank? Blank Kong. King. King? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What would you say? Would you say King? Oh, Hong Kong. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Oh, it could be Hong Kong. Oh, boy. Never. Well, you, you say Hong Kong, he gonna be very unhappy. You say King Kong, he gonna be very happy. Happy, happy. <laughs> $8,800. Okay, while well, we'll give John a chance to catch his breath, let's bring on another player. Here is Lauren Huntley. Okay, Lauren, you know John Schlicker, who is a rich person at this point. He's got $8,800. We welcome you and ask you to tell us about yourself. I work as a secretary during the day, and I teach French at night. Huh. That's it. Tell them what trompe l'oeil means. That means to fool the eye. I was sitting back it's, there and you pronounced a, it well, too. It's a literal phrase. Doesn't trompe l'oeil. Yeah. Uh -huh. Trompe l'oeil. Trompe l'oeil. <laughs> fool the eye. Exactly. Hey, you see them and you go, there. well, never mind. That's all right. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to tell us about no. yourself? Okay, we'll begin right now. I'll push the button with my magic finger and they all go down. I... <laughs> Come back. Hey. Uh, hey, listen, the thing broke. <laughs> oh, pull it up. Huh? Hold my microphone, would you? Sure. I think you've got some assistance coming. Put your, uh, grab this end of it, Charles, would you? And we'll see if we can do it together. Don't touch the meter, fellow. You're not supposed to touch the meter. Yeah, but I didn't touch a meter. Just uh, pull up on that thing now. <laughs> you sure I you, Have you got the wrong no, murderer? Don't go, nobody go Will, Gene, and Charles get it, get it fixed? We're get, I got it. Tune in again wait, tomorrow. Wait, wait, I'll push yeah! Okay. No, no, no. I'll hold it. I'll hold it up. You see, you want... <laughs> Get back upstairs. You're not supposed to wash your dirty linen in public there. <laughs> All right, Laura, you want A or B? I'll go with A, quickly. A. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Listen carefully. I've got to hold it up. It'll fall down. <laughs> I just have an idea. What's that? He has so much money, trust him with it. He won't steal it. Let John hold it. You want to hold it up, John? All right, you hold it up. Are you strong, John? Okay, It'll there it is. You got it? All right. Don't let go. Don't let go. Because I don't want Charles back there. <laughs> Norman the prisoner uh -huh. is never getting out. Oh. Why? I'll tell you why. Late one night, Norman snuck out of his cell yeah. and made an obscene phone call to the blank. <gasps> and that's why he is never getting out of prison. Aren't you thrilled with that? Scoey, when are we going to touch your funny bone? I don't understand. Never this way. No. I want you to know. Okay. There's your winning card for your souvenir. Don't let the thing go. Keep holding it up there. Norman the prisoner is never getting out because late one night, Norman snuck out of his cell and made an obscene phone call to the blank. Everybody ready? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, Patty, be ready in one second. Okay, you need a relief here? Shall I hold it for you? No, all right. You ready, Lauren? Yes. Norman the prisoner is never getting out because late one night, Norman snuck out of his cell and made an obscene phone call to the... Warden. To the warden. Very good. Okay, Scully. She says she taught school during the day. Teaches school during the day and French what? at night. Oh, French at Teaches night. Teaches French at night. Oh. Teaches French at night. Right. Oh. 
Warden, hey! very good. Hey! Hooray! 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 How many shows has he done? That's one, Scoey. <laughs> In 85 shows. Hooray! That's wow. right, sir. Say that. <laughs> know what he said? What? I love you. He did. He said, Warden. Oh, that's two for you. <laughs> Major Warden, so nervous. <laughs> Hello, Charles. Well, it's a good answer, but I... He could have written it on the wall, then the warden could have seen it, but he'd have to call the warden's wife, Mona. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Norman's never getting out of prison because late one night Norman snuck out of a cell, made an obscene phone call to the warden, according to Lauren. What do you say? But I watched all those movies and it was always the governor who gave them the reprieve, so he called the governor's the wife. The governor's wife. Made an obscene but phone our call. our governor's though. not married. So that's, no, that's why he's getting out. We'll pass oh, right really? by that. Pastor. Well, I hope they're very happy together. <laughs> what do you say there? <laughs> Warden. Warden. That's me for Lauren. Now, this lady is looking for a warden, Patty Doyle. I went higher up. You did? Yeah. I said that he made an obscene phone call to the right Reverend Billy Graham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that'll get you. Oh, good. Okay. So, oh, John, I'm sorry. I, did, I forgot about it. You can let go. I'll hold it up now. And during this commercial break, we may get it fixed. <laughs> Hello there. Now, it's fixed. John? Sure. There it is. Okay, this is your first round question. Everybody plays. Count Dracula said, uh -huh. My coffin is the most luxurious in all of Transylvania. I tell you, it's got everything, even blank. Even <laughs> blank. <laughs> My coffin has everything, even blank. <laughs> Blank. What are you doing? Finished. Okay. Oh, am I finished? I got some involved. I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> My coffin is the most luxurious in all of Transylvania. I tell you, it's got everything, even blank. <laughs> There we go. John Schlicker. Count Dracula said, my coffin is the most luxurious in all the world, in all of Transylvania. I tell you, it's got everything, even blank. <laughs> <laughs> A blood bank. A blood bank. It's a, it's a good, uh, a very imaginative answer, isn't it? Yes, it is. Maybe a loser, but imaginative. <laughs> Boy, that was a good answer. Good answer. It really was. Yeah. Uh, that was a good answer, John. Thank you. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's got a blood bank, too. <laughs> Your head's going. You wanna, <laughs> huh? Should I lay back for you? No, it was a no, great answer. Great really answer, really. yeah. One winner in 85 shows yeah. ain't bad. Yes, <laughs> huh? show is yours, right? Boy, that was a good answer. Yeah, that, 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 that. <laughs> well, you know, with the, the cape and uh, the lid closed and the air conditioning. Air conditioning. That's good. Well, that's a good one. That shows imagination. This Brett? Is, this is from your, your favorite movie. Pardon me, boss. Is this the Transylvania station? Yeah. It even has track 29. Track 29. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrific answer. Well, that's if you're a Mel Brook fan of uh, that's one of the, the best young Frankenstein. Ever given on this well, that show. would be good. Yes, of course. Isn't it, dear? Yes, that's right. Thank you. All right. What did you say, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> I said hot and cold running water. That would be nice. My coffin is the most luxurious in all of Transylvania. I tell you, it's got everything, even a uh, blood bank, according to John Schlicker. What according to Patty Duke? Blah. Blah. <laughs> um, hot and cold running toilets, which doesn't make sense to me. 
I'm not even going to inquire about that at all. I do not understand that, and I don't want to understand it. Blah. 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 All right, Richard. Bottled blood. Bottled blood. That's a blood bank. Thank you. That's a blood bank. What do you say? I said that he had an unobstructed view of the blood bank. A view of the blood bank. No? A view of the blood bank. Yeah. <laughs> there would have to be a blood bank there if he could see it. So that's why <laughs> that's at the last view. minute they made a match with that. Now we go to round two. A. A it is. Here we go. Everyone except. Wait a minute. Me. Except me. Turn the lights on so we can see who plays and who doesn't play. Be alert back there. Richard does not play. Scoey does not play. We're up here working our blanks off and they can't even get those bloody lights turned right. off. Right, right. So you don't play. So it's Charles. Patty, Patty Deutsch. Patty. And Patty Deutsch. And what's her name? Dorothy said, my husband thinks I'm a computer card. Last night he blanked me. <laughs> My husband yeah. thinks I'm a computer card. Last night he blanked me. <laughs> Look! Finish. Oh, he finally woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's he wrote an answer for Give him it. The <laughs> they're playing their own Please. little game up here while they're laying out there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you write an answer? Oh, yes, I am ready to play the game. You know, you've been bugging me all day. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'll get furious at everyone. <laughs> okay, Lauren. Dorothy said, my husband thinks I'm a computer card. Last night, he blanked me. Punched. Punched me. <laughs> That's a good word a computer card. That's one thing that is done to a computer card. Punched most frequently, Charles. I was going to say folded or mutilated, but I thought punched would be cute. Punched. Yeah. That's the traditional answer. All right, Patty, oh, get Since he didn't say it, I said it. Folded, spindled, and mutilated. Folded, spindled, and mutilated. Me? Me. <laughs> All right. Patty Deutsch. You're not going to believe this. What? Punched. Punched! Brava, bravissima. Oh, oh, that's my what goodness. I don't understand. That's a, what's that? They always talk about the ones that I don't get right. Do you ever count the ones Patty ever they gets can't. right? No, he can't. <laughs> it's so infrequent that we just, yeah. we, we've lost track it already. It would be too unkind. Right. <laughs> Middle of round two. Here we are, five to two. When we come back from this commercial, you got to match three to stay in a game, four to win. We'll see what happens right after we see about this. Ready? <laughs> we are ready. Are you all ready? Okay, five to two the score. Got a match let's three. Go. To... Ready? All right, listen ready. carefully, John. Two do not play. Patty and Richard do not play. Patty Deutsch and Richard. <laughs> Gunga Dinghy has an unusual act. <laughs> he does. Gunga Dinghy? Has a very unusual act. Instead of walking on hot coals, Gunga Dinghy takes the hot coals and sticks them in his blank. <laughs> Aren't you sorry you're not playing? <laughs> This is the happiest person in the world. Who? Instead of walking on hot coals, Gunga Dinghy takes the hot coals and sticks them in his blank. Now, does Dinghy imply that, no, it, that no, he's that's a just, little dinghy? No. No, we just, anything. we didn't want to say Gunga Din because I it's a Gunga a Dinghy, dinghy son. You I have a dinghy, yes. A cute little dinghy. Yes. <laughs> no, it's on the back of my boat. That's right. It's a little lifeboat, son. Fiberglass, is it? Right, I'm talking to him. Just give you time. I'll blow your wig off. Oh, you're wearing your own hair. Darling, Well, you want to try for the head? Yes. <laughs> Hurry up now. We're running out of time. Oh, is it a speed up? Yes, it's a speed oh, up. Oh, it's a Sheila speed up. <laughs> I've forgotten the question. The Gunga Dinghy has an unusual act. Instead of walking on hot coals, he takes the hot coals and sticks them in his blank. Now write something and don't be difficult. Because you'll go to your room without any supper. Oh, I'm hungry. Come on, Brett. Brett, we're going to start without you. I finished oh, my right. line, but before you left the edge of the table. John Gunga Dinghy has an unusual act. Instead of walking on hot coals, Gunga Dinghy takes the hot coals and sticks them in his... Ear. Ear. <laughs> All right, let's see how many ears we got. Scully, what do you say? 
I, I wouldn't be particularly fascinated by a gentleman that stuck hot coals in his ear. <laughs> no, I wouldn't either. I think. But it's any kind of... guy that would stick hot coals in his shorts would really knock yeah, me that's out. that's right. Got to match the rest to stay in the game, Brett. Uh, you poked fun. I you poked attacked. Fun. Yes, you that's assaulted. Right. I was terrible. You insulted. I was mean I to you. I'm going to cancel the reservations in Encino. Yes. I said ear. Ear. That's one for him, Charles. I'm sorry, I said drawers. Drawers. So that means Lauren Huntley wins away. And what do you have there? No. Now, John, we're going to part company with you, but you're not uh, leaving here an unhappy no, man because sure. you've got $8,800. John, thank Mr. you very much. So long. Now, we'll spin this message for you. I said goodbye. <laughs> It's no secret who's hosting Family Feud beginning in March on GSN. But who the heck are these MCs? Join Richard Ray and a secret set of stand-ins on the Family Feud Mystery MC Marathon. Saturday night, March 3rd at 8, 7 central, only on GSN. GSN. The network for games.